Okay guys, so I've got a new uh, package here. So this is just gonna be like an unboxing and a first impressions of the DJI Pocket 2. So let's just get this open and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the uh, Creator Combo here. So it's the DJI Pocket 2, and it comes with a, a few extra accessories. So you've got a wide angle lens, um, a small collapsible tripod. Uh, this is a wireless microphone, and I think this is called the Do It All adapter. Um, I'm pretty sure you need that to connect to the microphone. I'm not sure exactly what else it does. Let's just get this open. Cut towards your chum, not your thumb. So normally the first thing <clears throat> with DJI products is they're always incredibly well packaged. It's kind of like an Apple level packaging normally. I'd say that wasn't as good as uh, some of their, like the DJI Mavic. It's got quite a nice unboxing to it. So let's see what comes in the box. Inside the box there you've got like a piece of foam that's been glued in, a piece of cardboard. <clears throat> and then I knock this on the floor. I'd say that's probably not as graceful as an unboxing as like a, the DJI Mavic or something like that. So in here I think we've got the case and maybe the gimbal. This is looking nice. We've got like a lovely matte finished bag there. Okay, so here we've got what I think is like the pocket protector, let's say. And then inside that is the actual camera itself. I've heard this is quite a tight fit in here. Okay, that's not too bad. And then we've just got foam pads, yellow, these yellow foam pads. I think they're just to protect the gimbal mechanism. I don't know if they're meant to stay in there or not. Okay. So yeah, they protect the, uh, the foam protects the gimbal, just in shipping. Got some kind of. <laughs> nice. Oh, we've got another one here. Static made it stick to my hand. So there's quite a few of these little peely things. So if you like peeling these things off, you're going to love this. And we've got one more here. When using for the first time, follow the steps in the DJI Mimo app. And it's got the, this is the function button and this is the shutter slash record button. If I get that started, it's quite a small tab. Maybe if you had finger downs, that would be a little bit easier. Sweet and satisfying. Okay, so that was a protector for the uh, screen here. Should we see if we can power it on? I don't know if it's going to come with battery or not. Okay, held it down for five seconds, that didn't do anything. Okay, double tapped it, that didn't really do anything either. So I'm going to assume this needs to go on charge. 
So for the minute, let's just put that back in there and just see what other objects we've got in with it as well. So I open up this cardboard box. We've got a dead cat in a bag, which is for covering the microphone. Uh, that's the wide angle lens. There's quite a lot of little goodies in here. I think this is like a thumbstick. We'll have a better look at all of these in a minute. Uh, lightning adapter. USB-C. Some desiccant to keep things dry. And right in the bottom we've got a cable. Okay. And a lanyard. So this is kind of a funky cable because you've got USB-A on this side and then you've got two USB-C ports on this side. So I think this is so you can charge two devices off the same power brick and that will probably come in useful. And then here we've got what I assume this is the do it all adapter I assume. This one I think is just a tripod mounting adapter. Yeah because the standard uh, base for the Pocket 2 doesn't have a uh, tripod mount. So that's kind of good. The do it all adapter has got a tripod mount, charging port, a headphone jack, and that's just a little there's a lease mechanism there. And then <clears throat> this is one of the things that I'm really interested in. So it's got like a wireless lavalier microphone, and apparently it's really easy to set up. You just hold down the pair button or something and it automatically connects it up. So that's pretty cool. Right, so I guess, oh, and then one last thing in here is we've got this tripod, which I think is quite a good design actually. So these three prongs just uh, fold open and then you can obviously screw it into one of these attachments and you can have it mounted on a tripod. I think that's quite a good slim line design that, that's quite clever. Right. And then here's the instructions. I'll go through those off camera while I charge it up and then I'll show you myself I'll show you turning it on and stuff. Okay, so this let's have a look at this cat dead cat thing. Hmm. Just he okay, so it's got like a couple of plastic clips on it. Yeah, you can see there's a couple of plastic clips and then on here that ring in the middle is the microphone and then the two clips either side so I'm assuming that this just clips in there. Yeah, it doesn't have like a positive clicking retention mechanism but it's just a friction fit but that's fine. And that's just to reduce wind noise while you're recording. Probably look a bit funny tied to your jumper but to, to be honest having a wireless microphone included in the price of this kit is really good. I think the Rhodes wireless microphone is like just the, just the receiver and the antenna is £160. Um, I think this whole combo kit is about £460 but to be honest you can just discount £160 off of that right away because you if you want the wireless microphone. And then in here we've got So this is the wide angle lens, that's super small, but that gives you a wider field of view. Yeah, this is a USB-C. <coughs> oh, look how stretchy that is. seem to have shrunk sealed that inside there okay uh, this is like a little joystick module that you can add on and I'm gonna assume this is the lightning yeah that one there's the lightning let me just clear this rubbish away okay I'll just show you how these things uh, attach on 
need to come up with a good way to take this out because I don't really want to damage the gimbal. Okay, I'm guessing that comes off. So you can see this is pretty intuitive. And then uh, you can slide this one on. I'm guessing it goes on this way. And that gives you a little thumbstick. And that's for controlling the gimbal and, I'm, and another button. I'm not sure what that does. I think I will probably be using this most of the time rather than having it connected directly to my phone because I'm actually recording off of my phone right now. This feels like a really high um, glass reinforced nylon potentially, but it seems like a really high percentage of glass in that. It's got quite a nice feeling. Uh, Okay, sorry, my uh, screen just cut out there. And here we've got a, a lightning port. So basically, it's the same with the USB-C and the lightning. You slide that on, and then you can plug your phone into this. Um, so it's kind of like a boosted camera for your phone. I don't think I'll be using that as much, but I'll have to be careful to keep track of that. And then the last thing is this wide angle lens. And from what I understand, it just clips on there magnetically it's not that is not the strongest magnet in the world I'll be honest with you it's, oh, it feels like anything more than a light breeze could knock that off um, it's a 0 0.75 X by 15 millimeter wide angle lens um, so that's quite good as well for getting those wider sort of shots like a selfie shot where you can actually see some of the background okay so I'm gonna go and charge this up uh, and I'm going to charge up the wireless microphone as well and now it makes sense why they have this uh, split adapter because you can charge the microphone and the gimbal at the same time uh, so that is quite a that is quite clever okay guys I'll be back with you shortly once I've uh, had a chance to charge this up okay so I've just come out here to record a little bit of video with the uh, DJI Pocket 2 and I'm using the built-in uh, wireless lav mic and I'm probably just going to compare this to my iPhone with the Rode ME-L so I'm just panning around the scene and then I'll just walk for a little bit and we'll see how good the image stabilisation is So this is literally the first bit of video that I'm shooting on the DJI Pocket. Uh, I'm at 10, 80 and 24 frames per second, which is what I film on with my phone. Okay, and you can flip while you're in the middle of recording. I'm not much of a selfie taker. Um, but we'll just see what the quality is like with that. And you know what, there's a really nice looking bit of sunset over here, so we'll just go and have a look at that sky quickly. So I'll flip you back around for a second. So it's all automatic exposure and everything, so I'm not 100% sure. You can see over here some of the beehives. And in there, there's some beehives as well. And out here, we've got a cornfield. Just adjusting the exposure on the screen. But here's another advantage, I think, here's the main advantage probably of the DJI Pocket 2 is as I'm walking there's probably a hell of a lot of shake on the camera. Uh, and you can't really avoid that. 
Uh, just gripping the camera with two hands now because it was it was really bad a second ago. And I'll just walk you over here. And we'll get a shot of this kind of big sky view. You see an aeroplane flying over there. Like I say, this is with the Rode MEL um, external microphone as well. So the audio quality should be quite good. I guess one of the main advantages for me on this side of the camera is there's a huge image on this screen that I can see really clearly. Um, so obviously I can tell it looks like a good shot. Whereas on the uh, Pocket 2, that screen is really, really small. But obviously you can plug the Pocket into your phone as well. So that kind of, I guess that advantage kind of balances itself out. Okay, so I guess I'll just do one more bit of video with the Pocket 2 plugged into the phone. Okay guys, so that's a bit of video from the DJI Pocket 2 and comparing it to the iPhone. I hope you found this helpful. I'm looking forward to seeing what the video looks like when it's published. Um, yeah, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next week.